in this video i would be solving the problem on centroid let us take the question number 1 i'll read what is given here find the position of centroid for an unequal angle section with dimensions 150 mm into 200 mm into 10 mm and the longer leg is vertical this is given so let us try to solve this problem the solution part we have to find the position of centroid by position of centroid we mean that we have to calculate x bar and y bar values so the angle section is given it is unequal angle section the dimensions are given so i'll draw the unequal angle section first now dimensions are 150 into 200 into 10 150 is the width 200 is the height and 10 mm is the thickness of this unequal angle section 150 mm is the width 200 mm is the height and 10 mm is the thickness now this is the angle section given here they are saying longer leg is vertical so if we see for an angle section we have 150 mm leg and 200 mm so out of this 200 mm is the vertical leg because it is the longer leg we have to keep it as vertical now for this angle section which is unequal we have to locate the centroid that is the question is find the position of centroid so for the position of centroid we have to calculate what is x bar and what is y bar so these are the questions now let us try to solve this if we are solving the problem on centroid and now the figure is an angle section and we in the formula which we have written for the centroid in that we don't have any direct formula to calculate the centroid for angle section so what we can do here we will divide this unequal angle section into two rectangles now i'll say that this vertical rectangle i'll call it as rectangle 1 and the second one i'll call it as rectangle 2 so now i will calculate first the area of rectangle 1 i'll say that since area 1 is equal to it is 10 multiplied by 200 that is 2000 mm square now after getting area 1 here i will calculate x1 x1 means for the first rectangle where will be its y axis the y axis for the first rectangle will be at half of 10 so here the y axis which i will be getting for the first rectangle the distance of that y axis with respect to the original axis which we have here that will be x1 so x1 becomes half of 10 that is 5 mm therefore y1 will be equal to now y1 is the distance of x axis for rectangle number 1 for rectangle number 1 its x axis will be at half of 200 so y1 is the location of that x axis it is 200 divided by 2 so that is 100 mm now this much we have to write for the first rectangle similarly i would be calculating area x1 and x value and y value for rectangle number 2 so now i'll say that similarly
area 2 is equal to the second rectangle is having width here this was 150 from the origin up to the angle section now if I minus 10 because this is for the first rectangle then I will be getting the width of the second rectangle so it is 150 minus 10 that is 140 so I will draw the second rectangle here now for second rectangle area will be 140 into 10 that is 1400 mm square x will be equal to now x is the location of y axis with respect to origin for second rectangle for second rectangle the y axis would be here that is exactly at the half of its width now width is 140 so 140 divided by 2 will give this distance plus 10 that will give the distance of the y axis for second rectangle from the origin so it is 10 plus 140 by 2 that becomes 80 mm then y2 y2 is the distance of x axis for second rectangle and that will be exactly at the half of the height height is 10 so the x axis will be at half of 10 it means we have got the distance y2 so y2 is half of 10 now after getting these values we can easily calculate the value of x bar and y bar for x bar i'll say that since the location of centroid x bar is the distance with respect to y axis so location of centroid with respect to y axis is given by x bar is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 upon area 1 plus area 2 since we are having two areas here now I'll put the values a1 it was 2000 into x1 x1 was 5 plus area 2 that is 1400 into x2 that is 80 divided by area 1 plus area 2 that is 2000 plus 1400 so from this if I calculate I will be getting the value of x bar so x bar is equal to 35.88 mm my first answer now I will calculate y bar and y bar is the location of centroid with respect to x axis so therefore So the location of centroid with respect to x axis that is y bar is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 upon area 1 plus area 2 it's equal to area 1 that was 2000 into y1 y1 value we have calculated it is 100 plus area 2 that is 1400 into y2 the value of y2 we have found out it was 5 divided by area 1 plus area 2 2000 plus 1400 from this we will get the value of y bar y bar is 60.88 mm the second answer now once we have calculated x bar and y bar 
it means we have located the centroid and now I will locate the centroid for this unequal angle section. Here is the unequal angle section which was given in the problem. This is an unequal angle section. Now I locate the centroid for this. So here we have located the centroid and in the bracket I will write the coordinates. Coordinates should be mentioned in the form of x bar y bar. So x bar value was 35.88 mm and y bar value we have got it is 60.88 mm. So these distances they are measured with respect to y-axis and x-axis respectively so here we were having this distance as x bar and with respect to x-axis if we are taking the distance is y bar so in this way we would be locating the centroid and as they have said in the problem find the position of centroid for an unequal angle section so we have found out the position of centroid for unequal angle section calculated the values of x bar and y bar and we have shown it on a separate figure with this we complete the problems